Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing a haul and first impressions on a new hair brand. And this brand is called Amika. And this is a hair company that you can find at Sephora. And I will also leave links down in the description box below if you guys wanna check out the products and the pricing so you guys can find it online. I had literally never heard of this brand before, like ever, until I received a generous package in the mail. And I was like, how have I never heard of this company before? Because as I was Googling it, I found it on Sephora. And I was like, this brand is at Sephora, but I've never even heard of it, which is crazy, because you guys know I'm Sephora obsessed. And I was looking it up and I couldn't find anyone who talked about this brand. Like I could not find a lot of influencers or YouTubers or anyone who was really speaking to Amika. And I think it's a pretty new brand, so that could be why, but I was like, you know what? I wanna try it out and I wanna see what's up with this company. So the first three items in here are all hot tools. I got this cute set, which I think is absolutely adorable. This has the Mighty Mini Jet Set. How cute is that name? This is the Mighty Mini Jet Set. So this has a, a dryer and a mini styler. So it's basically a travel sized hair dryer and flat iron. And I think that the bag is so dang cute. I love the pattern on here. So this is what the bag looks like. I think the bag is so adorable. I will definitely use this when I'm traveling. I could either use this to keep the hair tools in when I'm traveling, or I think this is like the best size for like a makeup bag and a travel bag and it's super duper cute. I love all the colors on here. I think it's so fun. And then it has these double gold zippers. So I'm all about this packaging. And then you open it up and you get your two hot tools on the inside, which again, the packaging is everything. Like this rainbow packaging is so cute. So we have the blow dryer, which is this cute little tiny blow dryer. It says Amika on the side. And then it just has a uh, two settings and an off button. And then it has your traditional little cord here. Nothing too fancy about that. And then there's two little blow dryer nozzles on here. One is the diffuser. And then the other one is like the, this one. <laughs> this is for like a direct placement of heat. I never really use these to be honest. When I do blow dry my hair, I usually just kind of go crazy. But um, yeah, so that's super cute. And then the little mini flat iron. I actually have used this flat iron a couple times and it is a good little flat iron. It's super small, so I can't imagine myself really using this on a regular basis, except for if I was traveling. Um, but I do have a few friends that love mini flat irons because they have bangs and they say that they're really good for being able to like get to the root and do their bangs because um, sometimes the larger ones don't work. So that could be a use for you, but I really just think that this set is so gosh darn cute. I have a lot of spring and summer trips planned, so I think this will be super handy for traveling. And then the next hot tool that I got is much larger. This is the Amika Polished Perfection Straightening Brush. And you guys know I love these things. I love testing out different hair tools on my channel and I love straightening hair brushes. I have one that I currently am obsessed with. I use it all the time. So I'm super excited to try this one out. And this is actually the product that I'm gonna be trying on camera with you guys. My hair right now is completely natural air dried. So I just washed it last night and slept on it. And this morning, this is what it looks like. Kind of crazy. I have pretty sleek hair. It's not super... It's pretty straight naturally, but it does have some waves to it and it's not super polished. So I am going to be trying this out in just a minute. So this first hair product is the Silken Up Dry Conditioner. I've never heard of a dry conditioner in my life. I cannot wait to try this. I think it's such a cool idea. So it's to refresh and revive for all hair types. Obviously, I'm obsessed with dry shampoo, like dry shampoo is everything, but I had no idea that dry conditioner even existed. And it looks like it's just a little aerosol can for um, adding some moisture and silkiness to the hair. And isn't the bottle so cute? I just love all the colors on all the packaging of these. This one is the Amika Perk Up Dry Shampoo. Both of these have sea buckhorn berry in it, which I don't know what sea buckhorn berry is, but they have it. I hope it smells good. And um, this is just a dry shampoo and 
dry shampoos, everything. So I'm excited to try this out. And then the last product I'm way excited about as well. All these products are so cool. This one is the Nourishing Mask, which again has sea buckhorn berry. And it is a intensive conditioning and repair hair mask. So that is very exciting. I always need more conditioning in this hair. I do bleach and dye my hair. So it gets very dry and I live in a desert and I have eczema. So moisturization is very important in my life. And this is huge. This is 16 ounces of product. This is a very large jar. And I actually want to smell this. I want to smell the sea buckhorn berry that everyone's talking about. It smells good. It smells very good. It smells very clean. It smells like a hair product, but it's like a clean, nice scent. So I'm very, very excited to try this stuff out. I really like all these types of products, so I have high hopes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use some of the dry shampoo, even though my hair is clean right now. But I just want to try it because this is a first impressions video. So let's, let's first impressions. So I'll just spray a little in here. I do like using dry shampoo even when my hair is clean actually because I feel like it prevents your hair from getting oily because if you prevent it in the first place, it's easier than if you're trying to like get rid of the oil. But if you put something in to absorb the oil as it's produced, then you can kind of just avoid that oily hair altogether. Feels really light. It has a very faint scent. It does smell a little bit like that uh, deep repair mask, but very light and I like that I don't see a lot of residue in my hair. I'll spray a little on my fingertips and we can see if we see anything. No, it's very clear. Mm, it smells good up close. And it's, um, it's not super powdery. It is like a liquid to powder kind of formula. But it smells good and it feels very, very lightweight. So um, some people like that, some people don't. I'll have to definitely use it a little bit more to be able to tell you guys if it's a good dry shampoo or not. I mean, I gotta wait till this hair gets greasy. But first impressions, I am excited to use it. Okay, so I plugged the straightening hairbrush in and I gave it some time to heat up. It did heat up pretty quickly and it was automatically set to 350 degrees. So I'm just gonna leave it there, but um, it does adjust very easily with the little clicks of the button um, and it does feel quite warm. I probably should have brushed my hair out before doing this but I guess we're gonna have to really test out this hairbrush function on here because my hair is not brushed out. <laughs> so what we'll do is we will start off with one of these pieces in the front that has a little bit more of like a wave to it and I will just brush through my hair. It's gliding really easily. It actually glides through easier than the straightening hairbrush that I'm using now, for sure. It's brushing through super easily. Um, it definitely feels like a hairbrush because my hair is getting very sleek. Oh, it's hot. My hair is hot. <laughs> I'm like trying to run my fingers through my hair as I'm brushing through it, but the hair gets really hot. So you got to be careful not to burn your skin. All right. Well, no complaints there. <laughs> that worked really, really well. Um, there's a straightening hairbrush that I'm currently using now. I will leave that video in the description box below. And I do really like that one. But first impressions, I will say this works better. This is gliding through a lot um, more effortlessly and it's pulling out my hair less than my other one does, which is super impressive considering my hair's not brushed through right now. It's like literally rolled out of bed and I'm able to brush through this with just the straightening hairbrush. So that is awesome and it does look really sleek to me. Like it's very like silky, sleek and straight. So there's the straight side, which you guys saw, my hair straightens pretty easily, pretty quickly, but um, when I use like a traditional flat iron, like the pinching flat irons, that does take longer. This is working very quickly, very effectively. And then this is the other side with all the little bits of waves to it. 
I know I don't have like super curly hair or anything. I would be interested to see how this works on really curly hair, but I think these are like really awesome tools for when you're waking up late or if you just don't want to spend a lot of time doing your hair, you can just polish up your hair super quick and be done with it. And I think that's what this kind of tool is for, just making polishing and straightening your hair really quick and easy. And I mean, this is very effective. I'm super excited about this because I already know this is going to replace the one that I've been using for a couple months and I've been loving that thing. So to have something even better is awesome. Okay, so that's my hair finished. I am like super thrilled. Like I'm so excited because I love that brush that I've been using lately, but this totally worked better. And what's so awesome about, yeah, my hair looks good. See, it's just like really sleek. It looks very, very polished, very soft, very silky, very just polished. I know I don't have crazy curly hair, but this is um, just like a nice sleek hair look. And I'm really excited about this because I could literally roll out of bed, plug this in and have my hair completely done and ready to go within 10 minutes. Less than that if I wanted to be super quick. So that's great. And I do feel like these apply less heat than traditional flat irons. The ones where you're pinching your hair, you're literally taking strands of hair and forcing it to go in directions that's unnatural to your hair. So it not only takes more time, takes more heat, but it's more damaging on your hair. So I'm really excited about this. I think that was really effective. I think my hair looks great and this is a product that I'm already giving my stamp of approval. Oh, and you know one other thing that's very exciting about this? This guy has a swivel cord. You know how I feel about my swivel cords. It's a must have. Okay, and since we're here, I'm just gonna go ahead and use some of this dry conditioner in my hair and see if we notice a difference. It smells really nice. It smells like the other products. It just smells like fresh like hair product. It does feel very silky. What it feels like to me is those like hair serums, like you know the um, like the oil serums that you can just put through your fingers and rub through your hair. It feels like that, but like it's already in my hair. So it doesn't have as heavy of a feel to it, but it does feel extra silky. I think it'd be good for like a really sleek look or if you have a lot of flyaways. I don't personally have a ton of flyaways, but it does feel very nice. All right, you guys, that's it for this first impressions. I love doing these videos. I think they're so much fun. I think it's awesome to see new products that maybe you haven't heard about before or brands that you haven't seen a lot of reviews on. So I hope y'all enjoy it too. I'm very excited to try these products out, especially the hair conditioner and the dry shampoo. And I really am just obsessed with the packaging on these. Like I just think it's so cute and I, no, I'm gonna love this straightening hairbrush. Like I already know that it's gonna be amazing because I'm so impressed with it, first impressions. And I feel like you can tell with a hot tool what your feelings are gonna be with it even like in a first impression. It's like it's not like a foundation where my opinion's gonna change on it throughout the day. Like I'm done doing my hair now, so I feel very good about this. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed, if you found this helpful, and if y'all want to see more first impressions, because I'm always interested if you guys would rather see a full-on review of a product or if you'd like a first impressions. I feel like there are a lot more first impressions online, but I also feel like it can be really fun to see what like my initial reaction is to things. So let me know in the comments down below, and also check out my description box below if you guys would like to find me on any other social media. I love hanging out with y'all on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. You guys are awesome. And if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do. I would love to have your support and I will see y'all in a later video. Mwah.